Okay, welcome back again everybody to the Lamplighters League. So when we left off last time, we had done um, a mission and uncovered another mission, um, story mission to uh, uncover another one of the e uh, essences, I think they're called. But we have just installed an update. Um, I thought this was actually introduced in the latest patch, but I have actually had to install it as a separate um, DLC for free. Um, and it's introduced this new agent that we can recruit. So we're going to uh, take a sidetrack, I think, and go and recruit this new guy. So it's Isaac Graymore, an offensive gunner and bruiser who single-handedly wields a light machine gun. A volatile mercenary whose history with the league goes way back. Isaac risks his own well-being to wreak lead and havoc on his foes. So I think this is probably going to be the one we're going to go for today. So, we've still got these other two. So I may as well do this one. And I think it's worth doing this. I mean, allies and agents are always good to have. So we've got two intelligence. So we'll send someone on this one. We'll just need to decide who we're going to take on this main mission. I think we can do this. I mean, we've got these two um, story missions. We've got this one which reduces Marteau by a decent amount. But I think we should get this new agent first. So, on this one, just trying to think who we're going to want. I, I think we'll take Ingrid. Might take Latif out on this one. And... Might take Anna. Yeah, I think we'll do that. So we'll send... We'll send Eddie on this one. I need results. And we will send... Celestine out on this one. Discretion is key. Jan, you can, uh, can take the week off. I think we'll go... Yeah, we'll go ahead with these three. Equipment wise, let's just have a quick look in there. We've got stress remedy. I'm not sure whether we'll need that. I still don't think there's a way once you've. Can you not just unequip these items? I can put something else in its place, but I can't seem to actually remove an item just to leave a blank slot. Guess we'll take maybe a shock bomb. Probably missing something really obvious with that. There's probably a way of doing it, but... So... Yeah, that's going to be okay for her, I think. She can take the stress remedy, I suppose, and a couple of healing items. I might actually... Again, I'm still, again, whether I'm missing something obvious, I'm not sure. I still don't remember seeing enemies with armour. I'm not sure whether it's like an invisible stat that they have, or... I'm not sure. See, armour's a stat here. So... I think we'll give that to, um, to Anna for what it is. And Latif. Firebomb, flash bomb. See, he's got a spare slot, so we can maybe leave that for something we find in the world. And we've nothing at all to equip on on him. So, yeah, it's showing her with five armour because of this. But I don't know where that displays in the game. I'll have to have another look when we go into this mission. So, that looks good. So, in another life, the man at his desk, at this desk isn't me, it's Isaac Ashley, presumptive Lord Greymore. In this life, he's made his way as a soldier of fortune, first in the French Foreign Legion, then a small mercenary company that saw action in Ireland, Afghanistan and the Dutch East Indies. Perhaps I should have searched for him after the fall, but I feared drawing the court's eye to the boy. Well, I bought him 16 years, at least, but no more. The court has found him at last. So he's... 
Huh. It's some relation and for then, my to, next um, trick, to I'll make a whole person disappear. Right under the court's noses. Divine Mother, protect us and the person we seek. But see, I don't see armor here anywhere. This is obviously a health and a stress, and it's the same as the others, so I just, I can't see where armor is, um... Oh, it's this number here, I see. Right. I had noticed that before, but for some reason I was thinking it was like an enemy level or something. Some indication of um, how difficult an enemy is. So it is that number you see there, which makes sense, I suppose. Now, now I know what it is. It's like a shield icon. So that is armour. So I assume that that just... I'm not sure how it works, whether it literally stops here, a certain amount of damage or... Whether it, it basically takes, like if you do a hit for 20 damage and you've got 5 armor, it only does 15 damage. I'm not sure whether it works like that or whether it works differently. This will be of use. I don't remember reading how that works. In which case, we have come up against a lot of enemies that have armor in that case. So orders regarding Isaac Ashley. Termination order Isaac. Greymore priority A. Captain, our pursuit of the Greymore boy has finally borne fruit. New information gleaned from a member of his old mercenary crew places Isaac Ashley operating under the I alias Isaac Greymore near your camp's location. As you know, I participated in the hunt for the Lamplighters 20 years ago and can claim a small part in the elimination of Lord and Lady Greymore at Picardy. I should be very gratified to complete the set. Remain vigilant and let no stone remain unturned. Magister Kozlov. So these guys are looking for uh, for this Isaac. Okay, so we're right over here. Um, we've obviously got to go this way. We've got a guy with a key here. This one looks uh, new. Let's see if I can. Can't see it now. That one looked different. That one over there. Yeah, this. Yeah, we've not seen these before. Veteran Magister. Often drawn from aristocratic stock, Magisters command the loyalty of all the court servants. They carry portable Marto technology and will use it to summon allies if threatened. And they can buff their allies and summon reinforcements. So that's going to be a priority to take down. So they've got a range shot. They can buff to grant allies 10 armor till the end of a round. Summon reinforcements which will appear in the next round. And they can also throw a stun grenade. So... Yeah, so they're going to be uh, priority targets. The fact that he's patrolling, though, I can possibly wait for me. Take him out. Oh, I don't know. It looks like he's with some someone else. Drawn from aristocratic stock, magisters command the loyalty of all the court servants. They carry portable marteau technology. And we'll use it to summon allies if threatened. Yeah, it's patrolling with this guy. So if we can, if we can get them four together. Are you ready? In a in a slam would be good. See what's going on around this side. So we've got at least seven enemies here. Yeah, we could possibly get a slam, but that's going to... No doubt that will start combat, unless we can... This guy obviously isn't moving, the guy with the key.
we can probably take them two out with a slam. I might try that. It, it, the trouble is, it may start combat. Stay put. There's a good chance I could probably take more of them out with a slam, but um, if I can just get these two. Where's the other guy? Next. Whatever it takes. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I managed to get three of them, including the Magister, so that wasn't too bad. Okay, we'll take full cover here. And I think we may as well take... I mean, she's not going to be able to see anything, I don't think, with, with an overwatch from there, but... I've actually got a shot on him from here. I think we'll move with Latifi, he gets the automatic evade. I think we'll take overwatches on this turn. I don't think we've got a... Um, Oh, we have got a reinforcement tower. Okay, so there's three turns on that. Didn't see that. Seem to have them in virtually every mission. Uh, virtually every um, sort of fight location. I think initially we'll just... Take this. We can afford a turn just to get in position here, I think. One's a melee one, so that's gonna. Right, okay, so. That smoke grenade's not ideal. We're gonna all have to move anyway, because of this, uh, this grenade. It's not a flanking shot. If we move here, it is a flanking shot. I'm going to have pretty low percentages here anyway because of the um, smoke. It's just 65. Yeah, see, so you, you can't miss these. Um, it, it appears you can't miss these. Well, may as well take this then, I think. We have got haste flask, which we could give to somebody. I think what I'll try and do first is... So this one's not going to be able to act. This one, obviously, is going to get a shot off. Or the, the smoke should affect them as well, I would think. Can't easily get behind cover here, though. I can... Here, I may still just about be in the explosion, so I don't really want to risk that. I think we just, we can't attack if we go here, but I think we take the full cover plate safe. Latif's got one evade anyway. And then, I think we just play it safe. Take the evade here. There's no time to waste. Wanted autograph, just ask. There's the evade. You had to. Uh, <laughs> you'd think the smoke should affect them as well, but maybe it's been lucky, I suppose. So they're coming in on the next turn. This smoke is a pain, actually. So he can heal himself once permission. 
running shot. Deals extra damage per evade. So that synergizes well with uh, Eddie because he can give an, an extra evade. Need to get uh, Ingrid involved really somehow. Let's think about this. I mean, we could drop the dummy. I think we'll pull the teeth back. What percents have we got here? Pretty, pretty bad, actually. I'm not sure what this does. Water bells, so it makes them wet. But I'm not sure. Does that increase the shock damage we take? I'm not sure. In which case, it's not really going to help this us. Covered. So we're going to get reinforcements now as well. So we're, we're, we're going to have... Could turn quite nasty this if I'm not careful. Just got really low percentages. We may as well just go for overwatches. Oh, he's dropped the key as well. Can't really do a whole lot at the moment. Um, Move rope, protect the evade. Need need to get closer to uh, to get her involved, but so there's the evade. She could take a hit here. Wonderful. Another round. Hmm, okay. Yeah, the teeth should have some decent shots here, so we can take this. Oh, I don't believe it. Ninety percent chance. And now he needs to reload. That's a disaster. But in that case, we might be best using this. We need to do some damage. She's got 60% on that one. That's the only one she can see. That's something at least. Get rid of one. Yeah, we're going to have to group them up to use for heal, I think. We can't actually see anybody else. We can see the water barrel, that's it. So, take overwatch again here. I don't really want to run into fire. For obvious reasons. We could take... Push kick on this one. Or we could take a stick and move on this one. Yeah, I think we do this then. So that's blinded on that one. She gets a free movement. kick these two. It can it, it does face, there you go, I wonder if this will work. Try this. No, it's knocked that one down at least, so That 
wasn't too bad actually. So he's going to have to reload first. Now what kind of... He's only got 40 and 30. Oh, he's got low percentages. Do we're getting um, in Ingrid over here really instead of yeah this is actually turned into a much harder fight than I'd anticipated so a hit and run 50% additional damage per evade he gains a free move action if the target dies he gains an additional evade so he gets an automatic evade if he moves, but he's now only got one AP left anyway. Um, again, we may be best just overwatching this. Come on, come on! It's not ideal, actually. Move. I think we're going to have to heal the teeth in case anything else goes wrong up? here. Is it just like that? Of course, I so that's my her passive there, here. so she gets to heal him effectively for free. I think, I think we're best again going for overwatches, staying in cover here and going for overwatches. This guy we're not going to be able to finish off again, so we can do, we can do the stick and move on him. I think we do this. At least then he's blinded. We get the free movement, which we can move over here with. I think this one is still blinded. I think. Yeah. Do we do shot grenade or frag grenade? We'll just use a frag grenade. Just need some damage at the moment. I'm not sure, like I say, I'm going to have to get used to what these um, hazards do. Need to reload. She needs a reload, that's really bad timing. Okay, so this is a problem. Reflex blind. And marked, but will it cancel his overwatch? I don't know if it will because it doesn't do any damage. We've got a 40% chance to hit him. I think we're going to have to take these and hope one of them hits. Yeah, that was lucky. Right, now we can start doing some damage with. Uh, with Ingrid, we can finish this guy. I regret that it came to this. I hope you stay on our side. We can finish this one. We can finish this one. And 
then hopefully we can finish this one with the ranged. Hey, challenge! Yeah. That's all I ask! Yeah, that actually turned into a much, much tougher fight than, uh, than I thought it would have done. Don't wonder. It's a good job we managed to take out the, um, the Magister, or else that would have been uh, nasty if we'd have got even more reinforcements. Yeah, so wet, immune to burning, but receive ex extra shock damage, yeah. A souvenir. No time to waste. I found something useful, and I didn't even steal it. The luck of the gods, eh? Okay. Today's news. Kremlin appoints new com Commissary of Rationality Minister Vows to spread education throughout the Soviet Union. So we're not in too bad shape, really. A couple of stress on, uh, on both of these. And Ingrid, hopefully, can start getting some health back if she gets some, some kills. She's not actually carrying any... Uh, if we find any bandages, we can always use them. A neglected garden, ravenous weeds strangle the last vestiges of a carefully cultivated flower bed. Got a spare. That's another stress. In fact... Stress flask, what is this? Is that a different that might be different. Stand by. Okay, so we need another key, but we can actually send a sneak up there. Oh, got a patroller here. Aha, uh -huh, this is the uh and now you see the guard? Yeah, we'll take and that. And now you don't. That was quite handy. So we can get up there anyway. This is, I think, this is the way we need to go, actually. Right this so, way. So let's just um, we'll unlock this, and we're through. The objective is over there anyway. We could have got up there without the key. Just let's see what's uh, down this way. Yeah, we've got a second wind down here, and another route up to the roof as well. The acolyte, a crate of acolyte masks. The metal is brittle and cheap, designed less for protection and more for anonymity and ease of production. Now, is it worth picking this up or not? Probably not. Just at the moment. What is this piece of junk? Well, and so it begins. Day found me. Okay, that's just just for one, so that shouldn't be an issue. Should be able to kill this before it has a chance to have a turn. I think. Not bad, eh? Yeah. You really want no, to no, impress it me? Has do that it again. It has alerted all of them. I'm, pr I'm sure. Am I going daft? Or did that just say enemies won a second ago? Huh. Okay, that changes things. Come on! I'm sure that said enemies remaining won. <laughs> when it started. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, so this is quite a few turns, but we've got a lot of enemies here, so this uh, this isn't ideal. So let's have a look. I can't even see what enemies we've got. 
Yeah, so this, this creates stress. Again, just need some damage, I think, here. Gonna have to start just throwing some damage out. I think we, we can probably allow a couple of turns here to um, to get in position. Yep, don't want to shoot those. Him automatically one evade. What kind of shots have we got here? 65 on that one. Just thinking when we can possibly take. No, she's already she's only got one AP left, so. Well, I think we may as well kill one of these. Well, 70% chance of killing this one. Isn't that a lovely sight? Give us some health back, and then we're just gonna have to. Oh, yeah, that gives you an AP back as well. Can't get any of them with a strike, unfortunately. Nope. Okay, so. A good shock grenade. Doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but it'll reduce the speed. I think I might do this actually, because it creates a shocked hazard. And if the other enemies run through games. here, it's gonna, gonna slow them all down. What is this? Oh that's um one of the mummy things, I think. Let's have a look at this. Is that a different kind? Yeah, with nuts and maze, potent summoner, immune to fire, double poison. Summons scarabs and oh, attack its enemies and heal its allies, and it has a ranged attack as well. Huh. Seventy percent to hit that. Don't think we've got any more grenades, have we? Might not be a bad time to do the um, the dummy. Might be a good time to do this, I think, for two. Um, yeah, for two rounds, gives us extra hit and crit. So this might be it. a good idea. Those debuffs, we don't need to do that. We can give somebody, somebody else, an extra AP if we need to. Don't really think blinded is gonna. Well. Hmm. Well, I think we'll just start taking some shots. No, exactly where to strike helps. Of 
could throw a stress flask. I don't know. Because we this has got takes extra stress from being poisoned, but we've no way of poisoning it at the moment. So that's not really going to do any good. We're going to have to reload, unfortunately. The teeth. Yeah, we we'll may as well take this. Surprise! At least that gets rid of one of them. Yes. Ancient Come summoners, here. unearthed from their tombs, now in service to Wolfram Strum. Beware the swarms they call to their aid, for they are no ordinary scarabs. The target is here. Oh, he's actually up on this roof, yeah. Let's see if we could have got up here. This is all again because we've come around here first and been heard, but so we could have got up there first I guess maybe snuck round to rescue him that's probably what you're supposed to do and then we'd have had an extra person to handle all these with but uh, yeah that'd be too straightforward a glass jaw you um you're very good at probably should have took the uh, evade there This again removes debuffs. So this basically does the same. This, in this applies inspired. And removes debuffs. But this one refunds one AP. This one doesn't. So. Well, we're going to have to put out the burning, I think. Um, and we just need. To, I mean, we're going to get these reinforcements. It's virtually guaranteed. Just depends what, what that is. It's whether we can kill this. I don't even think we're going to be able to kill this. It's got a lot of health. Necessary. Crits are good, misses aren't. We're gonna have we're gonna what percentage have we got here? We need a reload anyway. Unfortunately. 75 will take it. This is how a master thief does it. Very and then good can shot. we kill this? You know, there's a good chance we can. <laughs> Problem is I don't know if these do the same as the other mummies. No, we don't. That's good. Okay, so we'll just take the evade. Take this. Oh, we're coming down this way. Right, so they're coming in on the next turn. It may actually be better here to to just get some. There's one still left up here somewhere. Okay. It may be better just to ignore these. In fact, what I will do, I'll do the stick and move, and then that'll give me a free action. You couldn't keep up. And then with the free movement, I'm just going to get as far over here as I possibly can to, uh, to, to get to this guy. I 
don't really want to um, leave myself near the explosive crates if I can help it. Hopefully he'll miss anyway, he's blinded. That's good. So what have we got there? I can't see him. He's a catching up behind us. So I think we just, I think here now we just run as far as we can. He gets a couple of evades anyway. Same with, same with Anna, I think. We just run up. We need to try and rescue this guy. Can we reach him? We can actually reach him. Yeah. Come on. Locke sent us to get you out of here. You don't know who I am? Well, just step aside then. The big gun will take it from here. So we could actually escape now. Um, but... We'll see what happens here. We'll see what we've got. So what does he have? So Spitfire. Signature. Unleash a hailstorm of bullets in the cone that deals damage and shreds armor. Higher heat means more bullets fired. So heat passive ability generated on firing the LMG reduces speed per stack. At max heat may cause overheated. Okay, so he's got a totally different mechanic going on here. We can vent the heat. Ranged basic attack. So basically, he builds up heat uses it on this um, but if you get it too much I guess overheated is bad and we can vent it with this so what kind of range has he got not bad actually 70% right we'll take this <laughs> did you see that So he's still blinded. Hopefully all these won't be able to get in range. Hopefully. What have we got here? Just standard stuff, I think. Yeah, may just stay and take these, actually. Um, so there's one still down there. Two, three, four, five. Oh, this one must have come back the other way, then. So there's still one down there. So I think... We'll pull the teeth around here. We'll overwatch here to where that guy is coming up. Now then, Anna. Hopefully they won't have a shot at Anna from there. She can take a shot at this one. 65. Not this is a firefight. Couldn't have done it better myself. Now Ingrid can finish this one off. Can't get in range of... Not quite get in range of any of those, so I can move over here. And then we can take push kick. I hate the clingy ones. Okay, so that takes him out of the next round. So he's not gonna be able to act. This one up here shouldn't be able to do anything, and then we've got the melee one shouldn't be able to get in range. Yeah, but this is it. Yeah, so heat reduces his uh, speed. So that's the problem. So release for hot air. Build up from firing Isaac's LMG. Removing all heat and overheated. Venting while overheated creates a cloud of smoke. Okay. Well. Can't really do a lot with him where he is. Um, can actually shoot this guy. Ha! The old man couldn't do that, could he? So 
So we could actually kill him, but I don't think it's worth Got it covered. doing that because he can't act anyway. Huh. That was quite underwhelming. I think that's because she, um, is it because she was behind here? Just as she entered the overwatch, she was just about in cover, I think. Which was <laughs> quite lucky for her. Because that was a full on, it doesn't do extra damage than this. It just does, higher heat means more bullets fired, so you, yeah. So it only does sort of 10 damage per bullet, it just, it shreds armor. Oh, this could be quite good though. Let's try this. Now we're having fun! Hey, not that. That's like from you. Oh, it's pretty good. And it doesn't actually use the heat up either. So does this vent Need to vent! Yeah, okay. So I'm not sure what would happen. I if we'd have done it again there, I would assume we'd have had overheat. This doesn't even um, use an AP either, which is quite handy. I won't kill that one with, uh, with him though, I'll finish that one with Ingrid to get a bit more health back. And then... Yeah, we've actually... He's stopped in a very bad place, so... Bad for him, at least. Um, I think we just play this safe and take an overwatch here. Ready. He's probably going to have to move. We could overwatch... I mean, he's not going to be able to act anyway, so may as well. Just do that. And then we're not in range, actually, of him, so... For what it is, we can just do this, take an evade. I don't think... Come on. I mean, he could attack twice, I suppose, but... Didn't I evade there? Oh, I wonder if that's because it's... Yeah, fires an explosive at a target area. That's so that goes through evades then because it's not directly targeting the unit, I guess. Well, that's good to know. Take the push kick for what it is. You can probably just finish this. Down, boy. Oh, it's not actually down him. Okay, well, in that case, we take the stick and move. And then we take the free move. Could do with actually moving somewhere where we can get a shot at him because I don't really want him hitting. Waiting for a shot. I don't really want him hitting uh, Ingrid again. He can actually hit him from here. He's got a good range on this uh, LMG. Oh, he's had to reload anyway. That's, uh, that's fine. In that case, finish him off with Ingrid, get some health back. Is this really all we're getting up to? Okay, so what that we wasn't here? too bad. I think it was worth clearing those out. And we can uh, pick up all the items up here. 
So a letter. Handwritten on parchment dated 10th of May 1916. The paper is old and folded many times over, but in otherwise pristine condition. Isaac, as I write, I am drawn to a cherished memory. The moment I first held you in my arms, my beacon of hope against the encroaching darkness. No expense was spared in rearing you, Isaac. The finest mentors and the best schooling that our station could furnish were at your disposal. I cannot help but wonder whether some essential lesson was omitted, some vital truth lost in translation. As a father, I am flawed. As a man, I strive for decency. I have always sought honour and virtue in those who follow me. My heart aches, Isaac, for I do not see the spark of a virtuous man in you. A father's hope is a stubborn flame. I cling to the vision of you striding to toward righteousness, lighting your way with the beacon of our legacy. I promised myself I would never give up on you, Isaac. If now I am able to abandon what I cannot understand or change, it will be thanks to your example, George Ashley Six Lord Greymore. So yeah, we'll see how that fits in, I guess, then, with uh, the story. So that's where we would have come up. Not bad. I'll take it. I don't think it's worth picking up the um, second wind that we missed. Workbench, distinctive smell of soldering fumes, hot lead and resin still lingering in the air. A souvenir. Stress remedy, take that. Right, I think that's it. I have to wonder why these people want you dead so badly. Nothing I ever do could match the crime of being my father's son. Believe me, I've tried. So is this Locke's son then? And what we'll a clip. Find I'm out. sure Locke will be very blessed to speak with you. Excellent. I can't wait to see how old Uncle Pelham is holding up. Oh, his uncle, I know. Okay. So ten skill points, new agent. Had my agents arrived a day later, the court would have finally succeeded in ending the Greymore line, but fate, it seems, has other plans. Perhaps time has tempered Isaac, perhaps he will seize the chance I'm about to offer, or perhaps it is too much to ask. Yeah, that's saying there about sending wounded agents on expeditions, that's uh, good to know. I think we've had both of these before. I, I definitely don't want to um, replace any of these, I don't think. See, it would be... Ha well, we could give it to him, I suppose. So he's got the heel. Yeah, we'll definitely give a poison oh, to I this one. I mean, I guess we may as well give him it. Well, same amount. We get ink if we discard him, don't we? See, some of these it doesn't tell you what it upgrades it to. Yeah, I think we'll just leave him with that. We'll discard this one. We'll put this to use. Okay, so some healing supplies and an item there. A promising lead. So a cartomancer to recruit Madame May, a fortune teller who can offer undrawn hand upgrades in the hideout. Okay, so this is uh, someone else who can um, sell us stuff at the hideout. Madame May, a fortune teller with the Circus Zarts Travelling Marvels. She's been asking questions about the undrawn hand for years. Seems she's got a fascination with the legendary card deck of the erstwhile Lamplighters League. She may be the greatest living expert on the undrawn hand. That puts her on my map and the court's not far behind. Yeah, so here we go. 
these they, I, I wonder what happened when it hit one of these so Marto Industries goes on a hiring spree scooping up military veterans and security experts for an exploration based initiative set in an undisclosed location meanwhile ghost sightings and reports of supernatural phenomena begin spreading around the globe so on Marto missions all sentinels are replaced with spectronauts ok so time will tell how bad that is the future has a name, and that name is Marto. Of course, progress comes at a price, and you, my friends, are going to pay it. In labor, working the assembly lines until your bodies break down. And then, we'll work your souls. There's a place in Marto Industries for everyone. The living and the dead alike. Welcome to the future. It's the only one you'll ever know. You all okay? You look like you've seen a ghost. It was a shared premonition, Captain. A vision of what is to come if Trace Marteau takes the tower. The veil was torn. Death was life. And life was as death. Everything was grey and loud. Clanging, roaring, churning, weeping. In the dream, I tried to remember my name, but I couldn't. None of us could. The only name we knew was Marteau. I dreamt I had nothing. Not even my own two hands. Not even my life. I looked down. My hands were burned and broken. I looked up and saw him. In the dream, he put me to work. Not because he needed me. It's just because he could. Uh, a factory oops, that covers the globe. <laughs> For an inventor, Marto is quite predictable. But with his machines powered by the Bright Storm, nobody will be beyond his reach, not in life or in death. Better stop him, then. I ain't cut out for honest work. Don't worry, Captain. Nothing about Trace Marteau is honest. Okay, let's do this first. Huh? Isaac. Uncle. I wasn't sure if you would accept my invitation. Are you joking? The Lamplighters League needs me. How on earth could I say no? Your father would be proud that you've returned to take up his cause. I'm surprised he hasn't risen from the grave to wrench his precious cause out of my unworthy hands. <sighs> I hope this argument was behind us. All right then. Just say it and be done. What would that be? Be exactly. The League needs you, Isaac. You're our only hope. Shall I fall to my knees as well? Oh, you do love kneeling to a Greymore? All right, Isaac. Your parents gave everything for the League. You need a paycheck just to save your own life. I had hoped for more. And then I hope you're as used to disappointment as I am. Hey, Jean. Can I call you Jean? I got a little side business going on here. On most supply runs, I can fit in a few luxuries to help a discerning customer pass the time on the island. Not necessary. <laughs> not necessary? Of course they're not necessary. They're luxuries, man. Booze, chocolates. I have some French art books, very sophisticated. Very forward-looking. <sighs> no. Thank you. <laughs> I get it, I do, really. Man of the cloth. Only, you're not really of the cloth anymore, are you? And you're missing out on all the fun. <sighs> Tell me about the chocolate. Anna, Sophia, do you need anything on this trip? Always happy to keep an eye out for you. Hmm. I could use some Caliba root. Three grams or so. Powdered or whole, doesn't matter. A Caliba root. 
got it. Now, will I need to go black market for this one? All I know is it won't be on display. Some people price its side effects over its healing properties. Side effects? It's perfectly safe so long as you don't need it. And no one around you eats it either. Once ingested, the narcotic effect is contagious. Got it, Miss Rodriguez. Illicit magic drugs coming right up. Okay, so let's just double check on this now. Oh, this is another uh, event. So acquisition house event. Marto Industries is in talks to acquire the Revenant Group, a mercenary team of Great War veterans. Each member has been touched by death at the Somme at Verdun at Galicia. Locke suspects that Marto's interest in these soldiers goes beyond their military experience. So, persuade the group to join forces with Strum instead, so that gives Strum plus one, we do nothing, Marto gets plus one, and we bribe the group's leadership. So I guess we do this really, we've got nine heals, yeah I guess we do this. Every member of the Revenant group bears wounds that won't heal, not without otherworldly assistance. Thankfully, the League is in a position to offer them exactly that. Simple demonstration of Magdalite Balm is all it takes to win the mercenaries over. They agree to sink the Marto deal in exchange for enough Balm to restore what they have lost and to buy them a piece that no amount of money can provide. So that means we don't join either of them. That's uh, fine with me. So, what we don't know is... Can so e each one of these will basically make things worse. I'm not sure how territories work, like they've gained two territories now, Marto. But what we don't know is can we get them back below this, or will like it doesn't look like you can. I think once it hits one of these, like there's no missions here that reduce Marto. So it looks like once we hit these break points, that will be irreversible. See, the thing is, it's how to balance these. Like, we need to... to do these story missions. But you can't do everything. Like, you can't possibly keep all these in check, you know. You can't keep them all down. Like they've got different amounts as well, like Marteau's got six of these. Well, there's a bigger gap here. Between. So it's all kind of balanced out, you would think. You can't stop them, all of them. You can only do one mission each week, so you can't stop all of them um, from gaining this. So again, it's, I'm not sure whether to recruit, this is probably worth getting, I think, to recruit the uh, Madame May. Obviously, we've still got these two um, critical missions. And then we've got some other, um, it's just a standard sabotage one. This is going to give us healing. And then this awards intel, so that might be... That might be worth doing as well, so... Yeah, a lot going on, so I'm not sure yet which, which way we're going to head for... Next time, but let's have a quick look at the... Um, the skill points here. 19 skill points. I'm, I think I'm pretty happy with um, with Ingrid at the moment. We can't get this. Whatever resource that is, we're short of. I mean, all these are good, but... I mean, Latif, you know... You probably... It's probably worth picking that up, I think. Excellent.
extra health on the decoy, it will also give uh, Latif some more damage and health as well. Gains an evade when attacking while under the cover of smoke. Now that's quite good as well, when because he's, he's, he gets an evade just for moving. When an attack misses Latif, which I'm assuming counts when it's evaded, it negates one incoming stress. If I miss one, the, the attacker also becomes marked. That's quite handy as well. So let's see what... Um what Isaac's got here. So we know about these. So this is another attack. Powerful single shot that deals damage, shreds armor, and shoves the target back one tile. Collisions cause knockdown. Higher heat means more damage. Yeah, I mean, there's no way we're not getting that for one point. He gains extra hit chance when wet. This opens fire in a target area, flushing enemies out of cover. High heat means more. Yeah, that's going to be really handy as well. So this is an upgrade for Vent. This, when he's overheated, restores some health. Gains extra hit chance per stack of heat. I mean, that's, yeah... What's the difference with this? Deal damage and shred armor. So it's a larger cone, basically. Yeah, he's got some interesting stuff. I'll probably leave it at that for now, save some skill points, but uh, we can have another look uh, through them. Need. Is there anything else we want to get off these? Signature abilities heal 30 health to the user. Yeah, that's probably worth taking. Trust for one. in the mother's love. Yeah, this is. That's pretty good, but we need to get this first. So being healed increases armor. You need something special from me? I still don't fully know how armor works. I guess it's similar to to other games where once we have armor, it will. Because it's talking about shredding armor, so I don't know whether, like, if they've got ten armor, it'll reduce the damage we receive by ten. Maybe I, I'm not sure. And then shredding armor will obviously get rid of that armor. I'm guessing that's probably how it works. What'll it be? I will have to read up on how that works, but I think it's probably about time we need to probably start taking some more of this stuff out as well. Like, send everyone out in, in at least some form of armour. Um... You, you do tend to find quite a few items in the missions, but you never know what you're going to find. Um, I mean, these only cost a hundred, so I'll buy one of those. I mean, you're only sending three agents at the moment anyway, you're only sending three agents out at a time, so it only means having um, three sets of armor, effectively. This one gives extra speed. That, that could be handy as well. I don't know what one speed equates to, is in how many squares um, movement, but uh, it could be handy, extra speed. Yeah, maybe leave it at that. I'm, I still am conscious of, um, of not wanting to spend Welcome. too much 
too much of that. Because you don't find tons of this set either. And you don't find too many supplies. And these are still costing, I'm not sure what this other grey resource here is, it's whatever this is up here. We've not come across any of this or this yet, so... Anyway, yeah, that's going to be it for this one. We'll decide where to go next time, whether to do one of these story missions or whether to do possibly this one to get the intel or we do this, recruit. Um, I'm not sure which way to go yet, but we'll decide on that. And obviously we'll have these two to do as well. This one costs here. Yeah, we can't actually do that. That costs intel. It's worth doing that. Um, so... We, Maybe we do that. Get some extra intel and that reduces strum by a decent amount as well. We're going to be hitting another break point next week. That's the problem. We, we can't avoid that because we can't do both of these. So if we do, we either keep Nicastro out or we keep strum out. I'm possibly thinking strum. So it could be that we do this. And then we do this, and but it's just awkward. It's awkward knowing what order to do things in. Um, I guess obviously we the story missions will progress the story um, further into the game, and then obviously uh, maybe you can delay things too much. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Seems like it's going okay, but um, maybe you can delay things too much by doing all these other missions and not doing the story missions early enough. I don't know. I'm not sure. Anyway, we'll see you next time. So that's going to be it for this one. Thanks again for watching. If you haven't um, already, hit subscribe. It's a new channel, so it really helps me out. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And leave a comment. Let me know what you think of this game. Are you Are enjoying it? Or um, I have heard mixed uh, things about it. I know some people haven't liked it, but uh, I quite like it so far. I think it's, um, I think it's different, um, but similar to other things as well. It's got its own... Um, cool mechanics so I've been quite enjoying this game but I know not everybody has so but thanks again for watching and uh, we will see you in the next one